Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Yes, I'm late. I know I'm late. It took me forever to connect to the interwebs because I don't know why. My computer is just being silly. And uh, <clears throat> even though Instagram was ready, uh, Facebook was not. And I cannot go into one without going in the other. So we're trying something new. Situationally here on Insta. There you go. Hi, Normitas Conchas. Normitas Conchas. I love your conchas. Uh, <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, everybody, welcome. Today we do have the learning the card of the day or learning today's card. And for that, I'm utilizing the Celtic Tarot as well as the Rider White Smith Tarot. If you've been here for a minute, you know I teach, I teach privately and I teach mostly with the Rider White Smith as I think is the best choice to learn tarot because Little known fact, once you know how to read with the Rider White Smith, you can read with any deck of cards. Um, as long as it's, you know, uh, RWS system. There are two. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. There are two mainly two systems. The Rider or the Toth. And I don't like the Toth. I like the Rider and that's what I do. Anyway... I think I shuffled enough times. Let's see what the card for today is going to be. Okay. Hey, Coochie Fruit. Oh my God, it's been forever. How are you? Well, I saw you in October, of course, but um, you haven't been on this channel, I don't think. So we have the Knight of Wands, I think. The Knight of Swords. <gasps> the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords soaring through the sky with that wonderful sword running, basically. Soaring through the sky. Oh, there you can see it, both. But can see it. Okay. I think we established on Wednesday that this is the best position. Yeah, so it doesn't reflect the lights. So the Knight of Swords is telling us to think quickly and try to solve things on our feet and to be smart about things. Or as they say, to nip it in the butt, right? To to be very fast and thorough. And at the same time, we have to be very careful, in my opinion. So the message, what is the message of the card? The message for the weekend will be, you know, be careful with your words. Be um, wise, intelligent with your communication. And also be as smart as you can be. Uh, it looks like things are going to be happening really, really fast. So try to be as wise as you can be, uh, especially when it comes down to communication. The warning I will say, and I will always give this warning when this card comes up is Take a second to think about the things you're going to say, because this is the literal representation of running with scissors. You have a horse that is going a million miles an hour and a person that is yielding a sword. Chances are you can cut others or you can cut yourself. Obviously, on the card that we pull from the Celtic Tarot, it's a different imagery, right? It's a dragon. And the person is riding their dragon with the sword up high up in the sky. And we can see the cloud is like 
throwing this rays of thunder into the sword, evoking um, the weather on this one. And those clouds that are moving super fast are talking about, you know, how we are talking about things and how we could be uh, a little too sharp with our words. So again, be cautious. So how do we come up with this description? How do we come up with this definition? Well, first of all, um, is it's a night. So knights implicate movement. Knights are talking about fighting or defending or um, moving really fast. Th this is something about movement and traction and, uh, you know, kind of like it's not static. It's, it's really about acting into something. And then the knight has a sword. Swords are all about our thoughts, ideas, communication, um, inspiration, and how we express ourselves. And they are sharp because most of the things that happens on the suit of swords is happening in our mind. A lot of the things are not actually happening outside in the world, but they're rather concentrated inside our head. That's why they are sharp and that's why they are dangerous because I will never not say our mind could be our best friend and our worst enemy, right? Um, guilty as charged, you know, sometimes my mind tells me the most horrible lies and I'm like, what? My friends hate me. No, this is just your mind being an idiot telling you things that are not true. The other aspects on the card, uh, visually, I mean, it's very obvious that um, the velocity, the, the speed that this knight has, everything is uh, pointing to that. The horse face, um, the gait, even the horse's eye is like, what the hell? Why are we going so fast? The clouds, the trees, everything is talking about almost like a um, storm approaching, you know, like a hurricane or something like that. There's a lot of wind. There's a lot of wind swirling around them, and then they're going super fast. Look at his clothes, you know, the, the feather on his helmet and his cape are dancing in the wind because he's moving that fast so when we see that kind of movement we know there is something happening is going to be happening very quickly and on top of that we have a sword and you know inertia is a thing i don't think that this guy could stop on a dime you know chances are he's going to need a good minute to stop and <clears throat> he might accidentally cut somebody or himself. So be impeccable with your words, be impeccable with your thoughts. How do you express yourself about yourself? How do you express yourself about others? And what are the things that you may or may not say over the weekend and how will those help or hinder your your life you know just be careful now the very positive aspects of it of course is fast learning fast acting problem solving um thinking clearly and and not a clouded thinking he's not thinking with his heart he really is old mind and he really is very 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 practical so those are very good qualities because if you are in a pickle that's the that's the energy that you want to tap into you know how do i get out of this fast and successfully so you know it's not only like uh, cautious qualities that he has he also has very good qualities to 
uh, solvicious and communicate clearly and directly. And in my opinion, because I am a direct communicator, that is not take it lightly. Not not everybody appreciates honesty and um, direct communication. You know, there are people who do not like direct communication. They get intimidated by it or they get upset. You know, they want things to be sugarcoated. And the night of source do not does not do sugar cream. Anyway, thank you all for hanging out. Hi, Leah. Thank you for being here. And to everyone, I will be tomorrow at the Maliway Brothers from 12 to 5. I'm going to be offering to our readings there. I still have the special, the 12-month reading for 2023 on $50. So you can go get it there in person. And on Sunday... I will be at the Pilsen Community Market. So Saturday, Maliway Brothers, right off the Moore Station on um, the north side, obviously. And Sunday, inside Honky Tonk Barbecue Restaurant on Pilsen. That is from 12 to 5 as well. And I'll have Blue Witch products and all that good stuff. So come see us this weekend. It's my last weekend working on 2022. Uh, obviously the 24th and the 31st, I'm going to be resting and being with my family. However, you can still hire me to do online stuff and the online stuff slots are going really fast. So if you want to hire me for your 2023 reading, <clears throat> I still have the special and I still have, uh, available dates on I think the 23rd is basically empty and there's some slots on the 30th. So if you want to see me for your 2023 reading, those are the spots. And I keep forgetting tomorrow. I'm also teaching a class on New Year's Magic. So if you want to buy your ticket, even if you cannot make the live class, you can make it. Um, you can receive the recording of the class. So thank you everybody for watching. I will see you Monday. And until then, never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye.